Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It is D-Mac, we're back at it again with another YouTube video. And today is probably going to be the only video for today, but just in case you have not already uh, went ahead and, you know, put your name in, in for the giveaway, check out the last video. Make sure you go like, uh, you know, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel to be entered in for that giveaway. Uh, we're going to do that either either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I want to give everyone enough time to go ahead and get, you know, uh, entered into that giveaway to give everyone a chance. Right now we only have like 15, 16 people, I think, uh, entered in. Yeah, 15 people entered in. So I want to get that number a little bit up. But right now, it is a good time. If there's only going to be about 15, 16 people entered, it's a good, good chance for you to go ahead and, you know, win the giveaway. So make sure you guys are entered in for that. Make sure you go like, comment the clown emoji, and sub be subscribed to the channel. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start it off, uh, start off the video. Um, what I want to talk about is we're having a surprise promo. Um, I don't know if it's a surprise promo, but Crayler said it's something, a little, something new. So it's little and new, so maybe it's just a little, uh, you know, something for Wild Carl Wednesday, maybe some, some sort of, um, maybe it's power-ups. I've heard a lot of people speculating power-ups of some sort. Um, but here are the programs that we have for Wildcard Wednesday. Now, we just got heavyweights last week uh, with that. I, I believe Carlos Dunlap was one of those cards. Um, and a few other players came along with the 91 overall heavyweight player. So we got that last week. Uh, now, if it continued the same pattern, we would be getting veterans um, tomorrow. But I don't think it's veterans because he did say it's something new. Um, so, you know, speculation is, is running wild right now. People are speculating, uh, you know, a lot of things. Um, but I really do like veterans. I wish we, I, maybe we do see veterans and then something a little else. Maybe they just throw in some power-ups with the veterans. But, uh, maybe we just see a bunch of power-ups. Maybe we see a whole new, um, whole new type of promo. Maybe we see team standouts. That's what a lot of people were talking about, team standouts. We can go ahead and check that out, too. Uh, now, Team Standouts, I don't think they would release Team Standouts. That is a whole, uh, you know, 32 cards with power-ups. So, I don't know if they would do Team Standouts. Uh, let's go ahead and get to it right here. So, here's Team Standouts. Uh, we, we had this back in Series 2. There were 89 overalls. We got them with their power-up. Um, now, if we do, we will see Team Standouts, but I think it's going to be maybe Friday we see Team Standouts. Um, I don't think tomorrow we'll see Team Standouts. Maybe they give us some power-ups just to prepare for... I don't know, well, they, you complete the set, you get a power-up. So, I don't know what they're going to do tomorrow. I'm really intrigued and interested to seeing what they are going to do tomorrow. Uh, because, you know, they said something a little new. Uh, and power-ups, we, we saw the power-up, sort of power-up expansion a few, uh, you know, a couple months ago. Uh, with, you know, getting a few new uh, power-ups introduced into the game. And one of those was um, uh, Ryan Tannehill. I couldn't think of his name. Ryan Tannehill. Uh, and he still has yet to have an upgrade, but uh, we, we saw that you know a month or two ago. So I don't know if we're gonna get power ups because they said a little new. Uh, it's interesting. It's really, I'm really intrigued to seeing what they're gonna do tomorrow. But here are your team standouts. So basically, you just completed the set. A bunch of team of the week players went into these sets. Uh, so you had it's taking a while to load here. Uh, you had like I believe like seven seventy eight overall cards, um, and I'm not sure why it's not loading. And I back out, maybe just uh, got kicked off the servers, so. Not sure. Uh, but basically, you had seven cards uh, that went in. Yep, there we go. Uh, but basically, you had seven Team of the Week cards, uh, 78 overall Team of the Week cards, and you had like a high 86 overall, then you had about four 84 overall cards that went into those sets. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much it for, you know, the team standout. So I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little pack open if, and if I can get back into the servers, which looks like I can. Uh, but we did get our um, uh, Mutt rewards. So I got my Mutt rewards. I don't think, and it's frustrating to me, I'm not getting my drops. So I don't know how that's going to work with Derwin James versus the world tonight. Because I have to go, now you see I have a lot of packs saved up. Uh, probably just going to wait for maybe a Titan LTD, some sort of LTD to come out before I open up these. These are all my uh, stuff that I did go ahead and, and buy for the Blitz. Now, if you do, now I have a lot of 
uh, blitz tokens that you know I'm not I'm nowhere close to the Tyreek Hill. I think I have like 60, you know, of, of the blitz uh, tokens just because I went ahead and picked up the Clowny and the power up passes. Um, so I don't have enough for the Tyree kill. So I think I'm just going to wait. I think they're going to quick sell for like one or 2,000 coins after the promo's over. So nothing special there. But basically getting 60k coins, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, I would love to get up to that Tyree kill. That way I could sell them for around 600k. But I don't think that's going to be an option. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into these packs here. Uh, we've got two normal Autumn Blast packs. And then we have one Elite pack. Um, I, I was thinking about saving these for... You know, whenever a Titans, another Titans player comes out. But I was like, why not open them in the video? So that's what we're doing. So a couple golds here. And nothing really special there. Yeah, not not the best pack there. 80 overall. Um, well, it's not the best pack. But moving on to the next one. We are getting another Autumn Blast player. And 80 overall. Hopefully that's not our only elite. We do get a 50 player. Can we get a big one? No, 81 Reggie Bush. But that's alright. It's better than the last pack. Hey, we get another elite too. 80 overall, Jimmy Garoppolo. So... I'll take that pack. Three elites, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and move on to our elite player pack. Now, this one should be a little bit better, hopefully, as we're starting it off with a silver card. Uh, Tua, not bad. Uh, DJ Hayden should have another elite in here. And it's not going to be a big one, but it's going to be 85, so not bad. 83, 85. Uh, maybe looking for a little bit better uh, than that. But, yeah, guys, saving those other packs for a little bit later down the road. Maybe we see some sort of Titans player, um, you know, down the road. But I do want to go ahead and I don't understand why Derrick Henry did not get an upgrade um, unless they are saving him for – it's just frustrating. Unless they're saving him for a ghost, uh, you know, a Madden present player, I would love to see that. Maybe a 95 overall Derrick Henry powered up to 96. That would be nice. Um, and he probably would be – Hemmed up to like a 97 or 98. That would be insane. But we'll have to wait for that. That'll be a little bit later down the road. Maybe a, people are specula uh, speculating about, you know, maybe one and a half week uh, until we do see um, the Zero Chill promo or whatever they want to call it this year. It was Zero Chill last year. Uh, but people are thinking not this Friday, but next Friday we'll see the Zero Chill um, promo. Uh, but that's what we're hoping for. Maybe they back that up like they've done a lot of promos. But we are seeing the new, you know, um, next-gen game, you know, a, pretty much a brand-new game coming. Um, so that, that's exciting, too. That's going to be coming out December 4th. So it's, it's basically, it's not a brand-new game, but it's going to be, you know, the next-gen next version of Madden if you have the new Xbox or the new PS5. Um, but as of right now, I do not have the new Xbox. I've been trying my best to get my hands on one of those, but, uh, I tried to pre-order back when, when pre-orders opened up. I tried to pick it up at Walmart when, when they re-released, but, you know, people got so many bots out there. I don't think anyone was able to get their hands on, uh, an Xbox. I had four of my family members trying to, trying to buy an Xbox and we just, you know, we, we couldn't get it. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to, you know, do that gameplay until probably a little bit later. Um, hopefully by January I'll have an Xbox a Series X, but maybe not. We'll just have to ride with the Xbox One um, until we do, until we are able to get our hands on a PS uh, or an Xbox Series X. But yeah, with that being said, I kind of just want to scroll down through here and see all the Titans players we have right now. Um, you know, we've got the Sam Mills, you know, best player in Madden right now. Uh, definitely can grind for this card. He's well worth it once you get him to 96 because you can get that Lurker. Um, and that's a very, very big on Sam Mills. That once you get the Lurker, he'll, he, he's game-changing, all right? So any theme team gets his, his chemistry. So um, he gets any team chemistry, I should say. So very, very important player there, Sam Mills. Steve McNair, we're still rocking with him. Harold Landry, a freak. Steve Hutchinson. Now our offensive lineman, very, very high potential to be something very, very good. Uh, we've got Bruce Matthews coming. We could see a power up to right tackle Jack Conklin, which would be uh, which would be nice. Um, you know, some more players there. Barry Sanders, he might get a 50 card. Um, it'd be interesting what they do because he was in the 50, the art when it was leaked way before the 50 even released. He was a part of the like the the a loading screen that was for the 50. He was on there, so expecting him in the 50, and he will get every team Kim. Um, but he doesn't have his power up just yet, so you're gonna have to get the power up with the 50. 
uh, but I will go ahead and, and once I get him, uh, he obviously does get every team chem, so once we do see that upgrade, I will have gameplay out on him. Andre Johnson, you know, gets every team chem. Javon Curse is awesome to have him back in the game. Albert Hainsworth as well, awesome to have Albert, uh, Big Al, back in the game. Not really expected in this promo, not really expected at all to come in Madden uh, 21, but we'll take it. Big Al, I love to love to see him back in the game. Uh, and Clowney, obviously, we just got him a couple days ago. Henry didn't get his plus one, which is frustrating, but understandably so. Uh, you know, it's understandable if we do get something, uh, you know, you know, a new Derrick Henry down the road, and they don't want to, like, bump his overall up right now because it would be too close of a boost if he does get, like, a 95 overall. Um, so I would understand why they would do that. So hopefully he gets, like, a 95 overall card during the Zero Chill promo or whatever they want to call it. We got Avery Williamson here. Uh, he's been rocking with us for about you know a few months now, a couple months. Uh, Tyrone Calico, same with him. Kevin Wise, good to have him uh, right back in the game. He was in it last year, so uh, a very, very good offensive line for us this year. Now we got this Antonio Cromartie from my $10, uh, the 5091 plus, I believe I got this from. So I'm holding on to him. I'm using my 91-92 overall power up pass on Albert Hainsworth, so I have him to sell. I'm just holding off on him. If you have any cards that you are holding on to right now, it's very smart to hold on to him. Wait for about maybe Wednesday, tomorrow, or Thursday to go ahead and sell. I I'm probably going to sell mine off tomorrow uh, because that's probably when the market's going to go back up. Again, this is the last 50 or the last blitz offer today. So those will be out of packs. Actually, they are out of packs right now. So probably a good time to sell. I would sell tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably the best time to sell your cards off if you have anything uh, that you've been saving uh, and waiting to sell. So tomorrow would probably be the best day now. Cortland Finnegan, I'm scared that they're going to give us a Team Diamond Cortland Finnegan because his card was a 90 overall, and they're probably going to give us like a 95, 96 overall Team Builders or Team Diamonds, excuse me. Um, so I'm, I think Cortland Finnegan might just, they might just give him um, this card, but maybe not. Maybe we do see something new, maybe like a Frank Wycheck uh, or someone like that. Um, a Vince Young would be cool too. I know we got Steve McNair, but I would love to see a Vince Young out here with like 97 speed running around wild. But uh, maybe we just do see a Cortland Finnegan upgrade or we see something brand new like a Frank Wycheck. Um, Clowney, there's our giveaway card. Again, like I said, if you haven't gone and entered in for that giveaway, um, you know, I just talked about it a few minutes ago. Uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe, comment the clown emoji in the last video, you'll be entered in. Jarrell Casey. Another good card. Uh, well, you know, Jarrell Casey hadn't played like pretty much all year, and he got that heavyweight boost, so we'll take that. He's still a solid right in for me. He just clogs it up, clogs up the holes. Um, for, with us running a 3 4, he's more of an interior guy, so because um, we have outside backers pretty much on the, on the ends of the uh, offensive line. So, I mean, Jarrell Casey really pretty much just clogs it up, more of a run stopper, so we'll take him all day. AJ Brown. Uh, he's fantastic. That gameplay video y'all love. I'll try and get a gameplay video out on Clowney as soon as possible. Probably tomorrow on Wednesday. Unless we do see someone else uh, you know, of the Titans um, that comes out on Wednesday. We'll probably do a Clowney and whoever that is tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Kenny V. He's been playing awesome. Uh, again, he just hits hard. He hits people hard. Uh, you know, hit power really doesn't matter about the, in this game. Um, so I, that's really unfortunate that he's had pretty good hit power. Um, and it really doesn't cause any fumbles. Um, that's unfortunate, but we do have this Clyde Edwards. I've got every rookie premiere, and I have not used one of them all year. But, uh, you know, I had so many coins last year in Madden 20 that I was just like, you know what, why, why don't just do these just in case maybe they get, like, toward the end of the year, maybe they get any Team Kim or something like that. Uh, so I just did all of those. Now, I have all these flashbacks here and this one Legend Michael Vick. I bought these cards. I'll check how much they're going for right now. I bought these cards for 20K, so that's a bang, 16K profit. Actually, after tax, it's going to be around 15K profit. So we'll check and see what these uh, these flashbacks should be going for around 30, 31, 32K, 30K, 32K. So uh, I bought those for 20K on the dot, um, and I just held, them on, held on to them, and I'm probably going to resell all of those tomorrow probably tomorrow i'll resell them i'll probably make around let's say uh after taxes on that 30k card that's probably going to be around 7k 8k on each of these so 8 16 24 or uh, he's in the line of 32 um then 40 48 plus this vic probably around 15 
So I'm looking at about 55k profit, so we'll take that. Um, and each of these are going for, so I'll say 30, 60, 90, um, uh, 120. Uh, we'll just say 15 and then 180k plus. So I'm getting around 200k right back. So I'll have like 1.1 mil right back when I sell these cards. So that's good. Uh, and a Kittle came out of one of the, uh, a pack that I had opened up recently. So I'm holding on to him. going to sell him tomorrow as well. Probably going to hold on to these and sell these tomorrow. I um, mean, all these rookie premieres here. Henry Ruggs, I'm waiting to sell him tomorrow. Anthony Barr and Adrian Peterson, I'm just, these are two non-auctionable players. So I'm just going to put them into the 84 overall exchange set whenever that is, whenever that comes in. It should come in on Friday with the 50. Uh, so I'm waiting to put those into that set to get my 84 overall. Speaking about those overalls, um, I do have a bunch of, of high gold cards waiting for the 50, waiting for us to get a Randy Moss uh, or you know Bruce Matthews to go ahead and put into one of those sets to uh, you know get some upgrades to the theme team. So, and also Desmond King still needs to get his Titans chemistry. Uh, so hopefully that's soon. Hopefully he gets an upgrade as well. He's been playing pretty good this year. Uh, Dory Jackson hasn't played one game this year. Or oh, actually, did play like the one game at the beginning of the year, but after that, it was nothing. Roger Saffold, he has to get an upgrade. The way Derrick Henry is running the ball, this man is is one of the main reasons. So I, I don't understand why he has, he doesn't have an upgrade just yet. Um, so we're just built, being really patient with the Roger Saffold, uh, and also Jason McCourty could get a flashback card. Um, I could see him getting a flashback card soon. Um, and then we just pulled this Reggie Bush and all these other cards. So the, I've got all these high gold cards saved up. Look at all these uh, high gold cards I have. Uh, and I'm buying them for around 1500 I think I told y'all this in another in a recent video. I'm buying all these cards for around 1500 coins. 1500 coins is what you want to look at. Now, I did buy these when the Blitz uh, was in, in, in effect. So these prices were a little lower than they normally are. So 1500 was the... Uh, was where I wanted to buy these at. So I have a lot of 78 and 79. Now I also have these Team of the Week saved up um, for maybe when Team Standouts come as well. So um, I don't know if they'll use these old weeks, but I just have them saved up here just in case they do. If not, I'll just sell them for about, about like 6K or so. So that's another 612, you know, what, 12, 24, 36, um, you know, another about 50, 60K. So, I mean, I've just got coins sitting in my binder. You know, all of these 78 overalls, I have a lot, guys. A whole lot. So, I'm just going to put these into the set, for, in the exchange set for the 84. So, I'm pretty much really set for, you know, when the 50 comes out. And then I have a couple 77 overalls. I don't know if they'll go into the set, uh, but they could. So, you know, I'll put these in the set as well. So, I'm really, really prepared for the 50. And I'll have some of these 76 power-ups. I have a lot of power-ups that I just pulled out of packs. I need to go ahead and sell him. I'm not sure why he didn't sell. Uh, but yeah, a lot of power-ups. Got a lot of Kenny, uh, Ken, uh, Kevin Byer power-ups. Look at all these power-ups I have just from pulling get a player packs. Get a player packs is, is, is a very good method of, of making coins. You could complete um, a, a the 50, you know, a 93 overall and a power-up if you just open up a bunch of get a player packs. All you do is just exchange them on up. Get your um, high gold, and those will go into that you know exchange set. And you'll get an 84, um, and yeah, you'll you'll be able to complete the set. And, and you're going to be pulling power ups out of the out of the get a player packs too. So you can sell those, probably make back your coins, and basically you're making the set for free. It's going to take a while, but it's it's you're going to end up making like a lot of you if you do complete the set, hang in there to the very end, and do a, a, the 50 set. You're you're making like 500, 600k. Uh, just by opening up and get a player pack. It's going to take a long time, but trust me, you, you'll make a lot of coins, and I have all these Blitz tokens saved up. Uh, have like 50 or 60 of those, and then the rest of my binder there. So really just really talking this video, speculating what's going to come tomorrow. Really didn't have an idea about what to do today. Um, I'm a little busy as well, so uh, I'm not going to be busy tomorrow, so I'll probably have a gameplay out tomorrow, Thursday, Probably, maybe, hopefully, like a, a an update video. I don't know. We're we'll, talking about promos and stuff. Obviously, we'll have the reveal tonight. I don't. I won't be able to do a reveal tonight. Uh, like I said, I'm busy. So whatever it is tomorrow, I'm very excited. But won't be able to do a reveal tomorrow uh, or t uh, tonight. 
Uh, I will have a reveal tomorrow uh, if we do see a Titans player of some sorts. Uh, but that would be very, very exciting. So, and then also we'll, we'll get back on pace with the reveals on Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday I won't be able to. But with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for um, the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. It was a longer one, but um, I believe it was pretty informational. You know, informative. Not informational, but informative. Uh, you know, so yeah. With that being said, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Until next time.